Hey guys, it's Drek, and we're here with a review of the Rebel Secrets and Spies Codebreaker crossbow. Now, I don't know how this one got past me because it's one that I was really excited for just because I like crossbow style blasters, and this is a crossbow style stringer blaster with a very sleek shell, so I think that in a lot of ways this will be cooler than the crossbow. It's also a revolver style cylinder, so it combines a lot of excellent features that I'm usually very into in a platform that should be very interesting if it performs well. Claiming elite ranges of 75 feet, has a gimmick built into it where you can lock the blaster so that it only functions, or I guess the trigger lock only works when it has a specific code plugged into it. We have our usual brand of photoshopped preteen girls on the front of the blaster advertising it. They are, of course, secret agents on the back. We are showing our spy skills to launch into an adventure, undercover code breaker, keep your secret safe, lock lock the blaster so only you can use it, unlock it with a secret passcode. So that's a little bit weird, but we're going to be reviewing the blaster solely on its merits as a nerf blaster. So coming in here, open it up, take a look, see what comes inside. So inside the box you get the code breaker bow itself, a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. The stock is kind of petite and then the bow arms are actually very large and already attached to the blaster via elastic so we'll go ahead and relinquish it. Comes with eight darts. I don't see a decoder in this bow which is kind of interesting. Normally, okay it's underneath there. It does have the standard keyring decoder dealio going on so we'll snip there, snip there, up under here, and there, and once more, don't cut towards yourself. Alright, standard instructions, and this looks like a specific advertisement for other secrets and spies blasters. We'll go ahead and set all of that to the side and see how difficult it is to get this blaster rocking and rolling. So, this appears, should go in this way. Yes, we have this peg here to align into this slot, and... What am I doing wrong? Okay, lined up, in it to win it. Not necessarily a flush fit, which is kind of frustrating. You'd think that these pieces would be exactly flush, but they are not. I do like how it's got a little bit of a sleeve to come over it, and shouldering is tight as it is a smallish blaster, but it's comfortable. The thumb port here for that guard is actually rather nice. Handle has plenty of room, and then the trigger, while being smallish as a rebel trigger, does allow you to choke up into the blaster, which isn't that bad at all. So let's get this installed. Hopefully this is much more flush. And, as always, assembly is stupid proof, also permanent in such a way that if you want to modify your blaster, it would be much easier to modify it having not put it together in advance. So this should just snip into place. Looks like there are three pegs for alignment, so we've got to find the one here that doesn't have a post, or that has the thicker post, right, like so snaps into place. Bingo! Excellent. So now our code breaker bow is functional. It does have a dart lock like a lot of stringers, so it is not functioning like that. It seems to be rotating through its cylinder on the prime, which is good for alignment reasons. And then an overall very smooth process. I actually like this wide singular bow piece. It looks very recurved, not compound at all, which is super duper cool. I was not digging the the faux compound going on on a lot of the Rebel Blasters. I like that similarly the revolver portion here is exposed so that you can reach four separate ports at any given time, which means that it would be easy to reload on the go. Does that necessarily make it a practical blaster for HVZ? Not really, but like some blasters that had continuous reloading ability were excellent like the Ravonics just because you could always top off your cylinder and so if you're that kind of player where you just want a dump pouch on your thigh full of loose darts and maybe a hammer shot which also takes loose darts conveniently enough this could be an excellent primary if you were to upgrade the elastic so firing on its stock performance exclusively that dart kinda took a dive that was a much better shot and that was an excellent shot so the variation is pretty heavy but with a slight angle getting not quite the elite ranges that it's promising slightly sub elite ranges but 
if you've watched my cross bolt mod guide and I highly recommend it I'll put a link to it in the description box below as well as a link to the elastic that you could buy to upgrade this blaster I think that this could be a worthy primary and I actually like the the sheer built-in accuracy of the stringer platform and unlike the pirate styled crossbow from the rebel line oh not chambered that's why unlike the pirate styled crossbow this blaster hasn't achieved any jams yet it seems to be working pretty flawlessly so currently set to zero 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 which is why I guess my shots were firing let's see real quick what happens if we chamber and it is of course a six o'clock shooter chambering from the bottom if we switch this to say a completely arbitrary number that is not the built-in code like that one if it'll fire and it will not so as I suspected the lock is built into the trigger mechanism it still primes but no firing with this off and then we'll go ahead and move it back to its zero 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 and blaster is clear to fire so I'm certain that in the instructions it will tell you that using this button you can change this setting so that it could be any code you wanted and I will either remove that entirely or adapt it into a code that I am into on my modifications video but this is an ultra sleek shell should paint up very nicely I look forward to doing a modification for this blaster and I will post a link to that below when it happens I'm swamped with schoolwork right now and have a lot of personal obligations so mod guide for this will be coming not soon but eventually as I'm very interested in this blaster and pleased with its stock performance. Again, if you'd like to pick up your very own Codebreaker bow, I'll put a link to its Amazon description in the box below as well. But I think that covers everything. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you viewing all of your Rebel views here. I seem to be the only person covering these blasters for whatever reason, but I love the Rebel line now. I'm, I'm really getting into them as they've started getting performance that's up to par, and I just really dig the sleek shells. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.